Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well. If you don't know who I am, my name is Berthia. And look at me. I'm back with another video, two videos. Oh, who, who is she? Miss Consistent is who she is. And I finally figured out how to use my little soundboard here. So, you know, I was like, yeah, 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 clap for that one. <laughs> I'm such a clown. Anyways, I have a great video for you guys today. This show actually holds a special place in my heart. It's called The Button. And I know a lot of people have made videos about this, but I just had to make one. The sheer awkwardness of this just makes it such a guilty pleasure to enjoy. So I figured I'd come on today and watch this one. I've never seen this episode. I've seen, I think, all the other ones, but not this one. So I'm just going to react to it pretty much live for the first time. So these are all going to be genuine reactions. In case you guys don't know how the button works, I'm going to let them explain it to you. Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. This is the button. Hi. Hi. I'm Trey. I'm Courtney. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. What do you do for fun? Uh, for fun, I mean, I really like to play basketball. Like basketball is fun. I uh, make music every once in a while. You make music? Yeah, I sing, I play guitar. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm a property manager. Oh, interesting. Yeah. What do you do? I, uh, I make tortillas all day. Nice, <laughs> sick. Why did you press the button? I didn't really feel like a relationship vibe. Right on. We could definitely be friends if you want. I mean, fair enough, she wasn't feeling the vibe. I'm not gonna knock her on that. But it's just, yeah, they, they're ruthless here. They will buzz you out after like three seconds. Like they don't care. Which, hey, don't, they don't want to waste their time. Hello, I'm Andreas. I'm Courtney. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. How you doing? <laughs> All the way out of my element. Yeah. So, but well, you what know, is your element? Like what do you normally uh, do? Shit, outdoors. I'm a firearms instructor, so that's another thing I like to do. You're is a what? A, a firearms <laughs> instructor. Is it a tie tiebreaker or what happens there? Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, perfect. Oh. Um, it was a pleasure, it's, Courtney. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors is crazy. That is so awkward. Rock, paper, scissors on who gets rejected. <laughs> I have no words. Good luck. I hope Look you find her. Thanks. He's actually, he's just happy he works. <laughs> no. I hate when they do that. They go back into the green room or whatever and they pretty much talk crap about the other person, but it's like, he's a firearms instructor, so what? Like, what's that to you? Why should she buzz him? Because he buzzed you. That's petty. Good, how are you? I'm Andreas. Jennifer. Hey, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you feeling? Nervous. Okay, me too. Ask what's last time you had sex. What? Oh. A while. Within the week. Interesting. Someone you're still talking to or? So I'm actively dating. But in getting straight to it. When was the last time you went yet? It's, it's one of those things that happened. Andreas has been married twice. I have. I don't know if that yeah. throws any red flags out there. Just, yeah. You got down. Did you touch him? Did you touch him? Good guy. Homegirl is still trying to sabotage. She's so butthurt that she got tapped and lost. <laughs> lost playing rock, paper, scissors. That's not your business, girl. Worry about yourself. You, you All you had to do was win a damn prehistoric game and you lost. So take that L, please. This had a sugar daddy. Oh, shit. I have a sugar daddy. You have one. <laughs> I do hey. have a sugar daddy. This is a judgment-free zone, okay? Yeah, and he's a really good friend of mine. Hey, there we go. Have How you many, ever I mean, done anything like that? No, I haven't, but no. the shit is set. <laughs> it, it is intriguing as fuck. Oh. Why would you admit that on a dating show? That's interesting. <laughs> I make my own money, so I don't need his money. Andreas, would you be interested in being another addition to her sugar daddies? I'm not gonna say I would be interested in being a sugar daddy. However, I, I do not judge, so, hey. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. No worries. <laughs> I think you're cute, but I also think that I wouldn't be able to be like intimate with you because I get friend vibes from you. Now correct me if I'm wrong. When someone says they get friend vibes from you, doesn't that just mean they're not physically attracted to you? So if she's saying I think you're very handsome, but I get friend vibes, like am I am I mistaken? But I can't. She said, but I can't be intimate. I don't see myself being intimate with you. That just means you don't find him attractive. So how are you gonna say he's very handsome? I, I'm confusion. Just put down in the comments what you think she means, because I I genuinely don't know. Daddy didn't have sex until he was 25. Why? Very religious. Grew up in church. Still? Nah. I mean, if my mom sees this, yes. Still praying. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, I grew up churchy, like black Pentecostal. Okay. And I was a youth pastor for a little bit. Quit after three months, though. I said, I can't do this. I want to have sex. When you lost your virginity, did you speak in tongues? <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> that was funny. The button isn't usually funny, but that was a funny joke. I'm pretty sure it, the button had that one, like, on the notepad, like, just waiting for him to come on. <laughs> Do you know about speaking in tongues? Um, yeah, but I have never met anybody that's done it. <laughs> okay, I Show us Danny. No, I can't do that. That's blasphemous. Look, I'm not really in church like that, but I, I gotta keep my tongues piping. That's okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had to, I feel like. But now you have to tell me why. I feel like there's still women who haven't gone yet. But Danny, if you're feeling it between Candace. You know what, maybe I fucked up. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> Have fun. This is another thing about this show. If I was to ever go on the show, I don't know if I would want to sit there and know why I was rejected. I guess thinking about it, maybe I would. Because then it's like constructive criticism. You know, then you know if there's something you need to fix or if there's something you need to pretty much withhold it when first meeting people. So yeah, I think I think I would want to know why they rejected me. Put down in the comments uh, if you guys would want to know or just walk away from it. I'm so annoyed. I just realized that five minutes into this video, I wasn't even recording my audio. So I apologize in advance. Half, probably half of this video is going to have trash audio. The other half is going to be good. I'm not redoing this. This was supposed to be a genuine, authentic reaction. And this is what you guys are getting with two different audios. And that's on that. I'm sorry. I'm new to this. And I keep messing up the audio all the time. What's up with that? Jason wrote yes. down that he likes tattoos. I have those. How many? More than 20. Where's the most wildest tattoo of yours? Um, I have a stick and poke of a strawberry with legs. And she's like thick, like she has a nice booty. A thick strawberry with legs? It's a very interesting tattoo choice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've been told I have no ass. <laughs> I mean, I'm down for no ass also. <laughs> what do you prefer? I always tell people I'm a Rubik's Cube kind of dude. I you like them like square? <laughs> no, I just like any color. Uh -huh. <laughs> what was your last relationship like? It was long distance and he ended up having a whole ass girlfriend. Ooh. Yeah, she hit me up on Instagram. Coming to you as a woman? Yeah. <laughs> I thought things were going fairly well. I guess not. But I will say this, man. If you do a long distance, nine out of ten times, he cheating. That nice to meet you. I like your shirt. Oh, thank you. What's your astrology sign? I feel like you know. I am a Libra. Really? Oh, Libra Libras sun. are so nice. I will agree. My cousin's a Libra. And she's pretty cool. I like Libras. I'm a Cancer. Oh, okay, okay. Fun fact about Trey, he has performed at Carnegie Hall two times. I have performed. Really? At yeah. That's was, actually sick. I was in a professional choir for like three years. Like singing choir or like orchestra? Yeah. Oh, wow. In a singing choir, yeah. I was in like middle school. I was with a bunch Wait, of like- Wait, can you sing? Boys. Like right now? Yeah. I'm taking my hands off just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got this like Bee Gees song stuck in my head, but- uh, I'm gonna sing I it. Can, this part kind of reminds me of another episode where, I don't know if the girl actually, the girl was like, can you dance? And the guy stands up and the button turns red as he's dancing and she just buzzes him right out. It's like, come on, button, you set him up. I'm not no vision, I'm the man who loves you inside and out. Real. Backwards and forwards with my heart hanging out. Woo! 
<laughs> you ate that. Would you two consider going on a second date with each other? Um, I think we would be great friends. That's I what do. I was expecting you to say. <laughs> I'm curious. Mm. There's one more woman who hasn't gone. Do you want him to meet her? I do want him to meet her. I think go she's Go grab great. her. Go grab her. Okay, let me go get her. Right. That was a cute little interaction. Very wholesome. I'm Trey. Nice to meet you. I'm Taya. Nice to meet you. Your glasses are super cute. Well, thank you. He's so cute. Like, I love his demeanor. He seems, he seems really, like, humble down to earth. And not the most confident guy, but, like, you can tell that he's trying. And I love his hair. I got a thing for, like, curly hair. Um, so if you got curly hair, just hit me up. Trey just sang for his last day. Yeah, she really just had me sing. <gasps> you sang? Yes, oh, fun. I sang. He's performed at Carnegie Hall twice. Wow. Professional choir for okay. a little bit. Look at, look at him trying to like flex, but not flex. He's like Carnegie Hall a couple times, you know, <laughs> no big deal. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love choir. I was in acapella group. Oh, in, me like, too. Middle school. Yeah, in high school, I was in acapella yeah. for like the whole time. You both are 23. Oh, okay. wow. Okay, yeah, cool. hey, I'm turning yeah. 24 in like two weeks. Are you ready? Like, I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah, just hang out. Like my friends uh, just turned 24 like yesterday. Are you all partied out? No, right? I mean, we're a very mild group. <laughs> we just like play cards and like, listen to records and so you're gonna have a, a quiet rager right you know a little vermouth you know, i a little, suck at uh, card games so i, I, I wouldn't hang i can always teach it my friends are a very inviting bunch yeah like play some cards like you don't have to go to the club every damn year club is not fun people that enjoy clubbing I, they i question their sanity because it's it's hot it's musty all you gotta do is drink you gotta wait in line to get your drink and the drinks are way too expensive they're totally overpriced it's like you could just be in like a nice little lounge or even stay at home play some music you ain't gotta worry about nobody else and you know you're surrounded by your friends and not sweaty unknown strangers who are bumping into you every five seconds so I'm all for chill birthdays. If he wants to play cards, shoot, I'll play cards with him. Yeah. <laughs> Are you two no. feeling this? I mean, I'd go on another date. It's a date. vibe. Yeah. Would you want to go on another date with me? Yeah, I feel like we could vibe. Sure. This is the part that's really misleading. I've watched a couple episodes where it's like they're feeling each other. And then the button turns red one last time. And like one person just eh, smashes it for no reason. So let's see, let's see. Little uh, suspension, suspension. I'm going to light up one more time. If you don't click, we'll pay for a date. Right on. Stare into each other's eyes. Yeah. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Right. Not that Congratulations, you have won the button. Right. We did it. Hey, hey. They won. I love this. This almost never happens, honestly. I think for the most part, if I remember correctly, everybody keeps rejecting each other. But this was a good one. This was a, a cute, nice, happy ending. I love when somebody actually finds someone that they, they would you know, be open to going to another date with. So this has been the second video. If you liked my commentary or you laughed at any part of this, go ahead and like the video, put in a comment. Would you ever go on the cut and be on the button? Um, and yeah, I'll see you in another video. How can I lose if I'm already chose? Like, if she feeling hot, then I make that bitch frozen. I got a bitch tired every time that I post, damn.